Modding Companion 22, Volume 2, by Lambeau. This document is geared towards providing exact and reliable information in regards to the topic and issues covered. The publication is sold with the idea that the publisher is not required to render accounting, officially permitted, or otherwise qualified services. If advice is necessary, legal, or professional, a practical individual in the profession should be consulted. The trademarks that are used within this book are used without any consent, and the publication of the trademark is without permission or backing of the trademark owner. All trademarks and brands within this book are for clarifying purposes only and are owned by the owners themselves and are not affiliated with this document. Introduction In making this book, I hope to promote more coding and discourage copying and pasting code from other mods. Even just typing it in manually once really helps to reinforce the understanding of the XML. The code examples found in this guide are to be used as an aid to understand what is going on when you code. I'm going to keep this very simple and provide as many notes and tips as I can. Some information may become outdated as the game grows over time. This information is based off experimenting with the code and documenting what I have discovered. Required software. General description. Now that you're in the mindset to make some mods, here's the software required to do so. Thankfully, there are plenty of open source softwares that we can download to make mods. Open source is denoting software for which the original source code is made freely available and may be distributed and modified. This may go without saying, but general skills required, a general idea of how to use a computer, a general idea of how to edit XML code, which we will cover later on, general idea of how to use a text editing program, know how to edit images and use an image editing program, and a ton of patience. Now there's gonna be some required software and optional software. The required stuff, you really can't mod without it. It's kind of difficult. The optional, it just makes them better in all the ways. So the required stuff is definitely gonna be Giants Editor, which you'll need to get from their website and I will be listing inside of this guide. You'll need to grab their exporter as well. It'll be there. If you're gonna be exporting from Blender, Notepad++, which is free, and uh, these all have an option to donate, Notepad++, and 7-Zip, which is a zipping software. You can use whatever text program you want and whatever zipping program you want. These are just the two that I use that are awesome, and they're not endorsing this at all. I just recommend them. The optional softwares or plugins, if you're going to be needing to edit any images at all, I recommend paint.net for it gives you the ability to save in a DDS file format, which we will learn about later on. Another website is Normal Map Online. This is to create some textures that give your models a little bit more feel than the normal shiny glossy object. Blender is also an optional add-on, which is free to download. I'd recommend checking out Blender Guru, not affiliated at all with him, just that's how I learned. Focus on learning the software and not just the, not just how to make a mod. Once you start modeling your own vehicles, nothing's going to stop you. Audacity. This is really only needed if you're not going to use any of the in-game sounds, which are really easy to use, and we'll show how to do that. But Audacity allows you to make custom sounds and extract sounds from videos and whatnot. The Giant's Loop Synthesis tool also is quite useful in combination with Audacity to pull segments of audio from a vehicle and insert it into your mod. Given that this modding companion really dives into the XML part of modding and not so much on the Giants editor, I really recommend that you go and download each one of these softwares that you plan to use and learn how to use it before you ever try to start making a mod. Otherwise, the chances of your success are greatly diminished. After you get all your software downloaded, learn up on it a little bit. Let's go on to the next chapter. And what is XML? You can't do any coding if you don't know how to code. So I'll see you there.